Welcome back for another Mikey Tries, the series that puts to the test, can I do something that I probably should be able to? Uh, in the past, what has been popular is me trying things for you and seeing how I respond to it. People seem to like me being miserable, so uh, that's what I'm here to do for you. Today, we will be going through several different objects. I do not know what these objects are. They are hidden underneath this sweet little dish, this sweet little dish, uh, from me. So what colors are we using today? We're using the Lucas Krill Studio Acrylics. All right, we've got some cyan, lemon yellow, magenta, your basic primaries, a burnt sienna, titanium white, and iron oxide black. And from those, I will be able to mix anything in the world, provided there's not something metallic or neon under this platter. So wish me luck. Apparently this is very popular on the TikTok. I have, uh, I, I've not talked or ticked. But um, I hear it's very, very popular amongst the, the young, and I'm not. I'm the old. And with that being said, let's see what I'm painting. This is a big reveal. Drum roll. We're going to do it in post, Katie! I think Christina picked this one because we're Bachelor Nation, and I think she just chose me to go on for another week. All right, my rose. All right, okay, so this is pretty interesting. So remember, with any object, especially something like a rose with all these petals, there's gonna be highlights, low lights, shadow. I'm gonna try to get like to the meat of the main color, okay? If color has meat. I don't know, it might be vegetarian. And we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna hope for the best and plan for the worst as I basically do every day I get up. So let's move this silver platter out of the way and get our mixing station ready to go. I missed picking up the plate. <laughs> Cut before anybody sees that. Uh, all right, okay. I'm gonna try, okay. So I think when you're painting something that is a bright red object, it's best to start with something closest to red. I don't know if that's logical or not, but we're gonna go with this magenta. I'm gonna try not to waste too much paint, but it is me. Magenta is a red that biases um, uh, a cool color, so it's, it's a little bit more purplish than it is, is that right? Yeah, no, it's more red. It's more red. All right, I need to phone a friend. It leans towards blue. So I was right. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, I knew what I, I, I know what I'm doing. Okay, all right, so we have that. It leans red. I think we can get this a little orangey to offset some of that other color. I'm gonna put out just a smidge Of this now, iron oxide black. Uh, apparently, they don't need to put pigment numbers on it. Iron oxide black. So titanium white, just because it's always best to have it ready. And let's just start with that. Okay, so I've got to take a primary color and make it look more primary. That seems hard. Okay, we're gonna start. I'm gonna go right into this magenta and I'm gonna add some yellow. I like to speak weird when I mix color. I never learned to talk good. Okay. Not, not quite there. Hmm. All right, I'm still looking a little pink, like pink, pinky. I'm trying to get it to be less pink and more orange. So I don't want to add any white. If I add black, it would have to be so little. I'm just gonna add the littlest, the little, like, like just look at that, it's barely anything. I don't think that that got us any closer. Still pink. Still pink. All right, let's go for the burnt sienna. Now, as an experienced colorist, I know that this leans towards orange. And I'm just gonna take the littlest bit of that. How are we looking? Still a little pink. Well, I'm glad I didn't add any darn white. All 
All right, we're going to do a rating system on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being you nailed it, 1 being are you colorblind. And I'm going to let the experts on our judging panel tell me. I'd say it's a little dark, surprisingly. It's a little dark. I'm going to say it's a little dark and a little pink. It is a little like dark. All right, I'm going to add more yellow, which could be a huge mistake, but that's just how I live my life. Ming, you're enjoying this, right? Oh, yeah. All right, <laughs> sarcasm noted. All right, now... Oh, I got a little club. All right. Let's try this again. Rate me. Yeah, the thinner, the thinner area is definitely closer. Hold on, I got to thin this out. That yeah, that's, you're pretty spot on. Rate me. People need a number. Rate me. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. I'll take it. That's the highest I've ever been rated before. Now, keep in mind with acrylic paints, um, they always draw a, about a shade darker, um, but we're just going to go with the, uh, with the wet color for this, for the purposes of this. Yeah, you got a thumbs up from the back. All right, well, that was a blast, right, from the past. Let's move on uh, to our next item. Okay, we've been filming for about two hours now. It's time to go on to our second item. Oh, my old friend. My best spud, potato. Okay. Well, this isn't exactly a solid colored object, but uh, we will we'll do our best, right? That's all I can, uh, can do. So let me move this out of the way. Potato. All right, well, maybe, most definitely, in all likelihood, I'll wait. <clears throat> All right. Okay, when you're whispering, secret secrets make no good. It looks like waffle house on your palate. Now that's not something that should be kept secret. All right. Uh, that's the sound of a potato's uh, in the microwave releasing air. Um, I'm gonna start from lightest. That might be too much. Oh, when you exhale like that, it makes me feel like I've already messed up. Okay. How close am I? One. Singular sensation. See, the, with the potato being all over the place, it's almost like I don't want to overmix it because I think it'll look closer if there's some inconsistencies. Now that is a little off. I am actually going to side mix some more of this burnt sienna with some black. And that will give me some of that kind of dirty look to it. There we go. Actually, let's see. If I take this and I, if I mix this with that, as Jamie likes to say, I ain't going back a whole point now. Okay, okay, so what if I did this? I was gonna say, you're saying it's a little dark. Close. 
Are we up to a nine? Uh, it's not one color like I suggested we do. <laughs> it's pretty darn close. Yeah. All right, if, if, if you yeah. saw this, yeah. would you say, that could be a potato? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to go with a nine on this? We're going to go nine. All right, all right, nine. Potato. Potato. Potato, nine. okay. All right, object number trace, three for those that don't, okay. Third object, I'm hoping for something that's a solid color this time. <laughs> Just waiting for somebody to come spray me in the face because I do that to you guys. I don't do that to them. Ah, okay, yes, yes, a genie Pez dispenser. Can we, I like that. You cheap son of a, where's the Pez? It comes with Pez. You had time to get your you coffee, but I can't have my Pez. I was early. How dare you. Oop. Now people are going to know that's not real metal. All right, so I guess I'm just painting the shaft color. Yes. All right, so we're going to ignore the, okay. I'm blue. All right, so I'm going to start with blue. And some white. I have a feeling it's going to be a matter of slowly adding the white. Adding the white faster. I should have started with the white and added blue. All the white. More white. Rate me. The blue is slightly off. Yeah. As far as the value is concerned, you're, you're spot on. As far as the color, the hue, you are off. Let's wait for it to dry a second. You're about an eight. I'll give you an eight. I don't want to be an eight. What if I... thing is also that this is really shiny and that's really matte. His head's shiny. His head is shiny. Oh, rate me. Is oh, by the way, if you, for those of you at home, our resident artist, Emmy Klein, is here to rate me. Uh, it's still the wrong kind of blue. All right, so how do I make it more blue without darkening it? This is riveting television. If I add yellow, that will make it more green. Does it... <laughs> I'm guessing that's a no. The universe has spoken. I don't know. Like, my eye, that's, I mean, I get what you're saying. It's like, is it just a pigment thing? Like, yes. Is it, is it, po okay, so Emmy, yes. I'm going to phone a friend. Okay. Make this that. Make that with this. I can only give you suggestions. Oh, that's all you can do. So the blue, the cyan, the primary blue that you're using. She's saying the primary blue that I'm using, yes. It's a little too green. It's too green. So how do I de-green? The color that you need to be mixing leans a little bit more towards red. So add, and I need the tiniest amount. Oh, I know. I'm not even going to. I mean, even that's too much. All right, tiniest bit of magenta. Más o menos. A little bit less. Más o menos. Yeah, yeah, let's go that. Oh, I think you might have done it, but what do I know? Bingo. What, where am I? Nine. No, I want to be. I want to be a ten. 
if I add more red, will that get me to a 10? Or will it throw off the balance of I the force? I think if you add more red to that darker puddle that you have. This, that it, one. All right. I'm gonna that value seems to be a little bit closer. All right. I'm adding red to my darker puddle. All right, this is my last attempt. There it is. I'll give you a 10 for that. I got a 10? I'll give you a 10. Ten. All right, thank you. Yeah, no, I mean, I had it all the time. I mean, it's just for the camera that I take my time. Okay, all right. This is a video. Let's move on. There's something special under here. I can sense it. Oh, it's Grogu. I like Grogu. All right, I can paint this. My hand looks like a gentleman. All right, now, I need to mix it green. It's like, it's green, but this isn't his real green. He's a little minty green. Peachy cream. Green. Do I get to keep this after we're done filming, or did somebody already call dibs? All right, let's try to make some minty green. We're going to start with some lemony yellow. Okay. Definitely going to need to pale that down. Rate me. I think you're at like a six. Six? Oh, I hear I hear argumentation. Okay. I heard a six. Okay. <laughs> six. I'm doing good. <laughs> shut up. Everybody shut up. About the same. Okay, we'll go with an eight. An eight? <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty close when you think you're trying to win. Rate me. I'm doing the wrong way. Six. Uh, six? Again, I'm dealing with a very shiny paint with a very matte object. I think that down here at the bottom where it's drying is pretty close. All right, we're going to get closer. Is anybody still watching? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with nine. I 
don't settle for less than nine and a half. Is this a photo frame? Yes. It's a little yellow. Of course we will. What else would you expect from me? Tens. Thank golf claps. Oh, I appreciate that. You saw that. Okay, well, that was another Mikey Tries. I don't know if that was helpful or interesting, but I hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless. You can follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel to see more nonsense and actually some useful stuff that our resident artists will actually post outside of my idiocracy. Uh, ring the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Join us for Jerry's Live every Tuesday at 5.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will see you on the next Mikey Tries if I decide to keep doing these. I am. I've been told I am. Okay. Do you have something for me to try? I'd love to try sodas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've lost steam. I've been up here for an hour doing nothing. I've achieved a lot. If we take all the items and add them up, we have a rose, we have a potato, a genie, and a grogu. What's the lesson there? Mixing is hard. Paint mixing is hard. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. It takes time. It takes time. And you can do it. And you can do it. That's a message straight from me <laughs> to you.